In this video, we'd like to introduce our Divi 2.0 Content Import Tool that will allow you to batch import existing content into Divi HQ in a few simple steps. From the top right menu, go to your Calendar Admin and then click the Content Imports tab on the left. The default screen will provide a history of content imports that have already been completed. From this interface, you can view the content associated with past imports or undo previous imports. To start a new import, click the New Import button and then walk through our five-step import wizard. For step one, select the calendar to which you want to import content. Due to DiviHQ's calendar architecture, which ensures that various users aren't seeing content that they shouldn't see, it's important that you choose which calendar your imported content will belong to. So if your calendar structure is separated by channel, you'll want a separate CSV file for each channel. Step two, format your spreadsheet. It's important that we try to map your spreadsheet data to the available fields within Divi. So doing some formatting of your existing spreadsheet will save you some time later on. To speed up the process, we've provided you with a CSV template that spells out the available fields within Divi. I have the template pulled up here, so let's walk through a few things. The first things to note are the column headers. Your spreadsheet doesn't have to match this perfectly, but these columns represent the fields that we currently support. If your spreadsheet has additional fields, those can also be imported during the field mapping process. Another thing to note is the importance of matching the data values of various fields, like team member names and content types. For example, the data that you include in your content type column should ideally match the content types that you've specified within your Divi account. If they don't match, our system will assume that you want to create new custom content types. This scenario also applies for each content strategy field. This extra step will ensure that your data is clean when importing. With your spreadsheet formatted, now save it in CSV format. Return to the Divi import wizard and complete step three, uploading your CSV file. Step four allows you to map your spreadsheet's fields to DiviHQ's content fields. The field mapper displays your column headers at the top and a single row of your data. All you need to do from here is select the matching Divi field for each column. I'll run through this quickly so you can see how it works. For step five, Give your import session a name so you can find it later in your import history. To complete the process, click Start Import. Depending on how much data you're importing, the import process may take a few minutes. We'll notify you when it's done. To review your latest import, click Content in the main nav and then click the Imports tab. From there, you can review your imported content and make any necessary changes. If by chance a mistake was made and you need to re-import again, you can go back to your import history, find your import, and click Undo. This will remove all imported content and you can start again. We hope our new import tool provides you with a quick and easy way to get your content uploaded into DiviHQ. Should you need any help with this process, feel free to contact us via email at support at Thanks for watching and happy divvying!